Hello cousins, welcome back to Chittle Alley. 5.21 p.m. I keep forgetting to stand up and take a break and walk around for a second. <laughs> Alright, so somebody is telling you, let's get naked. Can we talk? Can we text? So somebody that you're not even in communication with. Yeah, and hell no, it's a trap. Someone is stalking you. Yeah, so whoever this is, they're definitely trying to, um, yeah, it's talking about ready for a family and I watch you online. Yeah, yeah, hell no, it's a trap and ready for a family. You don't want nothing to do with this fucking person. They trying to get you knocked up or get knocked up by you. Point blank. For, it's not, it's not uncommon for people to try to make their rounds after karma done already fucking struck the it, the the interesting thing apart or the interesting part about it with this semi-explicit content is like motherfuckers did not learn the first time so they're back to learn another lesson the problem is your spiritual team is out to play with these type of individuals so why they're sitting there thinking about you i don't know but while they're doing it your spiritual team is kind of like everybody is suiting up let the games begin what's this yeah i talk about you i'm ready for a family and i talk about you you want to go on a date Hot and bothered. So I was not wrong for thinking what I was saying. I should have just said that shit out loud. Hot and bothered. Do not sleep with this person. Yet again, I don't I don't feel like you're interested in whoever the fuck this is. They trying to get naked though. They they trying to like, oh, and then like they're basically trying to set some shit up to where it's like a Valentine's Day type of thing. You know how everybody go all out for Valentine's Day? That shit never made no sense to me. But, you know, whatever. Um, but it's it's something like that. Like, special occasion type shit. Maybe that's the special occasion. It still doesn't make any sense to me. But, hey, whatever. Um, Yeah, somebody trying to trap you with a baby. Whether you're feminine or masculine. And they already talk about this. I feel like this is the type of individual that if they have access to your pictures, they'd be done took your pictures or took one of your picture and took one of theirs and try. I wonder what our baby would look like. It's one of them. They crazy for real. I want to be in love. So like, let's just slap a baby on it so we can never like ever be like, we're always going to be connected. They crazy as fuck. Yeah, someone is hot in the pants. I want to be in love and you make me happy. Yeah, this 
This ain't it, G. For some reason, this person is dead ass. I mean, it's a trap, but I'm trying to figure out why. Like, what is what the fuck are they after? Not that it matters. I just like to know for my own notes. What's this? So when I got to run the same fucking storyline again, I could be like, oh, yeah, this remind me of the reading I did. This is why I be wanting my own notes. What's this? Because what the fuck? Why are they? Why are they trying to trap you? this these won't make sense and this one i mean they would but it don't give a specific answer these would though so what's the trap about tarot readings they're using tarot readings if you do tarot, they're watching the shit out you, but they're also stalking tarot to see. So then doesn't that answer itself? Doesn't that tell on they, they tell on themselves then? If they're doing readings or they're watching readings to see if y'all going to be together or whatever the fuck, how something's going to play out, then wouldn't you also be aware of that shit? Clearly y'all are both in the tarot readings, but I get the feeling they're only into them because of you. Which means you have a bit more knowledge about how this shit actually works and they don't. So somebody is going based off tarot readings trying to... It's a high head that is now in the tarot readings because you are... This is somebody that did you fucking filthy. Yeah, that motherfucker's a snake. And fuck the bond we had in the past. Don't look back what you drop. Can't believe it's true. And keep it real. Yeah, this person did you dirty. They're trying to outrun karma. That's all that is. Officially, they're trying to outrun karma. That's not how this works. Oh, yeah, all my decks can be used independently or paired with another deck. It's whatever you want. Depends on how um, detailed you want shit to be. But these are dummy proof cards, so your intuition is right on point. So they don't come, and none of my cards come with a booklet, by the way. Your intuition is all you need. If you can play Uno, you can you can use my cards. Super simple. What's this? They're stalking the shit out you. If you do tarot readings, this person is watching damn near every reading that you drop. Or they're watching every reading that has like your sign attached to it or theirs. Or it's like if love readings are popping up. Yep, marry me. Told you. If love readings are popping up, they're like, oh, that's gonna be me and my person. That so when that, when you say you and your person, you talking about me and them. That's why I be telling motherfuckers, don't everything with tarot is not gonna resonate and uh take what resonate, leave what don't. Don't be trying to make a shoe that don't fit fit. Cause this person is trying to make a shoe, which is you, that don't fit fit. It's not gonna work. Yeah, they all up in your uh all up in your readings or something like that. See, this person does not understand that when they show up in the readings, they don't show up how they think they do. They don't show up as like, oh my god, it's just so much love. It it doesn't show up like that. It show up as hell no, nah, it's a trap. The fuck? And X misses sex. They don't understand that's exactly how they show up in the reading, and you annoy the fuck out of me. They don't understand. They think they show up as like lover boy or lover girl. It's like, nah, motherfucker that you looking for don't want to. They not looking for you. Stop looking for them.
Yeah, this person is like, can we talk? We were supposed to have a family. We were supposed to be married. Yeah, you wasn't supposed to fuck me over, but you did. And here we are. This is how we learn. They want to convince you that everything was a mistake in the past. You know, it be tripping me out how much like real life motherfuckers be up here playing crazy like X misses sex. It's crazy how people will really try to quote movie lines, TV lines. I was just, I didn't know what I was doing and I was so, do you think, like what type of Hancock a point, a, a, a apology is you giving? Sounding like Will Smith up there at the fucking Grammys or whatever the fuck it was. You sound just like you did in Hancock. You ain't fooling me. You meant to slap the hell out of him and that's what you did. What's this? You meant to, you meant to do some fuck ass shit. That's what you did. And of course they're stalking your ass online. Of course they are. Can we talk? Can we text? Why? It's already a one-way conversation. I'm talking to who I'm talking to. Your ass sitting up there paying attention. What do you want? Yeah, this person annoys the hell out of you. Yet they're talking to whoever the hell about. I want a family with you. You want a family with who? With you? Who the fuck is you talking about? Like, nigga, hell no. Then unaware of a third party. Yeah, it's a whole situation going on in the fucking background. Either one, you're single and this person that is, they like you, they're attached to somebody else. That's a third party or two. Both of y'all are single. You don't give a damn about this person anyway. And it's a brand new person coming in. And this person think that you single or about to be single. Oh, so this yet another one that's coming. Like, come on in. Join the party. Drinks are over there. Come on in, motherfucker. This is how we do it. This divine about to pull a sick trick. The third party that you're unaware of, you're, un one, you're unaware of the third party. You might be aware of your ex or whoever this is. Maybe you're not. But I can assure you the third party you're unaware of is a brand new person. Eyes fully on you. They've been on you for a while. What's this? They're not creepy and stalker-like, though. But they also watch you. Like, if you're online, somebody is on your profile consistently. I'm talking this, this ex more than anybody. Or this person that... Maybe this not an ex. Maybe this somebody that's like, like, oh, we just be flirting or some shit. And they like, yeah, let's get next. Like, why are you always talking explicit? I've learned to, to, um, like, I've come to the conclusion that for the most part, people that talk extremely explicit like this from the jump, they usually suck in bed later. So, yeah, that's a red flag. I feel like it's red flags all through this shit. Then you got this this ex that's like, bitch, why are you even talking to me? Why are you even trying to cut? Why are you showing up anywhere on, on my social media? Why are you in my energy? But why are you on my social media? They'll never stop stalking you. Do you hear me? They will never stop stalking your social media as long as you have one. And even if you don't, they'll just screenshot your pictures. They probably already did. What's this? Just in case you figure out who they are, where they are, and block them. You thought I was playing, didn't you? You must have. Yeah, they saved some of your pictures. I told you, I know what the fuck I be talking about. Unfortunately, I know weirdos. Unfortunately. Bring them out, bring them out. Got a funny way of bringing weirdos just out in the open. I knew it. This is the type of motherfucker that will save your pictures because what if you block me? What if one day you just up and decide to delete your profile? Then I'm never going to see you. Weirdos, motherfucker. I don't want you to see me. That's why I deleted the shit. And it's like, no, we're supposed to be in love. Man, they crazy. What's this? I don't know if there's somebody that you already know or somebody you don't. I really don't know. I know they crazy. though. <laughs> I talk about you. I talk about wanting to have a family with you and everything. Let's get this clear. Fem this is a feminine or a masculine. You are a feminine or a I, I really don't know. It's like it could go either way. But they, they watch you consistently. Like all the time. They check your fucking social media before they check their goddamn bank account in the morning. Some people don't even check their bank account. I, that's. Never mind. Yeah, this baby mama or this baby daddy is telling you, come see me. 
Come see me. Let's get a little bottle of wine. Let's just talk and kick it. No. I, I'm trying to figure out why exactly they would think that they're about to get your attention. And then enough to be like, come see me, come marry me, come see me. Who are you talking to? Did you put some some something else in your breakfast this morning? You put you put another substance in there? You put an extra ingredient? It's okay. Let me know if you did because then it make more sense why you talking like this. Just let me know, okay? Just let me know. And then then I'll know. Because this is crazy. This baby mama or this baby daddy watches the fuck out you online and saved your pictures they extra horny they done convinced they self that they want a family with you they talk about this shit too and then they're they're fantasizing about y'all being married about having sex and y'all y'all texting and calling each other this is what's going on in their mind meanwhile they could possibly be you know door dashing with someone else and I ain't talking about delivering food. What's this? Shit, maybe they do. I don't know. I mean, that's a really weird detail to just kind of throw in there, but sure. What's this? They talking about let's get naked. You get naked with this person, go anywhere near this person. And I'm telling you, they is fertile. Let's drive and vibe and then you got be my man at the bottom and want to go on a date. Absolutely not. So the person that's talking about let's get naked right next to it. You got it's a trap and they talking about me and you as a power couple. We gonna be a power couple. No, you need to you need to go get powered up with the doctor. They need to power your ass uh, full of them anti- fucking virus medicine that you gonna need that you need now you nasty this transformer about to make me mad this transformer is really pissing me off now what's this they really is trying to convince themselves that this trap that they done set they like, yeah, I'm trying to trap you into what I want. And then, you know what? But the more I look at you, the more I'm just so in love with you. Like I said, meanwhile, third party, unaware of a third party. Either they are dealing with somebody or somebody wants you. It could actually be both. What I do know is you don't want this person, though. Yes, yeah, somebody adores you. Power couple and someone adores you. Yeah, y'all are on top of this fucking retard. So whoever, whoever the new person is, yeah, y'all match perfect. They adore you. And with power couple... Yeah, y'all, it's like y'all put us together. How they gonna stop both of us? I'm a force. Well, do you say I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force when we together. Brand new person like, yeah, fuck all that noise. Anyway, what's up? Yeah, this other energy like, come see me. Come see me. Go see the doctor. I don't got the medicine you looking for, bitch. You need, you, you not scratching and itching because of your laundry detergent, bitch. Stop being nasty. Go to the doctor. Go. Go. Yeah, and this person got the nerve to be trying to, oh, yeah, I just want a family with you. I mean, they're just stalking you on. That's how, like, what the fuck? Mental health is so real, bro. And meanwhile, they tell me, I want to see third party, unaware of a third party. What's at the bottom? Yeah, trying to use you. This motherfucker's connected to somebody else trying to come in and use you brand new person like anyway. That's why, you know, fuck all that shit. This new person trying to be your last first date. What's this? Like, yeah, we together for forever.
Because I'm about to treat her like a real man supposed to. Feminine or masculine. This other person is weird, man. Brand new person seems to be like... They are so perfect. It's such an equal. Yeah, you make me happy. Yeah, the way you make me feel. You really turn me on. You knock me off of my feet. Not now. Yeah, that's brand new energy. Everything is great. This other energy is like, get your punk ass out the way. But now I see why they're they're sitting there, though. This is karma. You and this new person are sitting right at the top. All of these peasants are at the bottom. Like, this is another one. This, this is one of the steps. It's like if y'all went up the steps to get to your throne. This is, this person, they, they, they represent a step. Like, yeah, all right, so step on that step to get to the next one to get to the next one to get to the top to get where i'm supposed to be yeah this step was practice it's like when you get new shoes and you gotta practice walking in them break them in some practice walking in those hills you've never yeah these shoes these boots are way made for walking that's what they'll do one of these days these boots they're gonna walk all over you and that's exactly what you did this person is a step And you stepped on them and went above it. Yeah, they're below you now. But somebody else is like, yeah, so come sit on your throne and wear your crown. Feminine or masculine. Brand new energy is, is like right there at the top. And your ex like, you miss me? No. Who the fuck is you even? Who is you? Yeah, this fucking be my girl. They're stalking the hell out of you. It's, I don't like you. You're not my type. I used to be. No, nah, I was just super unhealed and toxic just like you. You wasn't never really my type, but uh, that's it. Feminine or masculine. I'll be right back. <laughs> 